Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I want to show you guys, it'll just take a second. My folk art drizzle has uh, dried and oh my gosh, I am way more surprised than I thought I would be um, because, you know, I mean, I've poured a million times and although I can still get the sheen if I use um, like some clear coat or something like that, but let me just show you this. So this is the flower. It's a little coming off a little bit bright, but you see, see that sheen there? And that's just the paint, nothing on it. But I mean, the colors and everything, it came out really nice. Um, I think what I'm going to do is paint this inside like a, um, maybe a purple to match this or a bright pink. I haven't quite decided, but something, I think that's cute. And I think that would be a cute like brooch or something on an art quilt or a painting. So that's that. Then I took, I want to show you how easy this was, a uh, Sharpie. It's just a black Sharpie over the paint because you saw in the last video. And if you didn't see the last video, I will link it down below. And at the end of the, uh, this video, there'll be like a little thing up here to click. But um, look how awesome that looks. Just outlined in black Sharpie. And I'm going to show you because right here I need it. Just to show you real quick. And that's one coat. I can go over it again if, you know, I see. Because I see a few spots that. But let me just show you. And you can use black paint too. You don't have to use a Sharpie. But um, I'm, a, I'm a little... impatient so i just figured instead of doing the paint and all i'm just going to do like this and if a little black gets on it i don't you know i'm not going to care too much but like i said i can go over it all if i want but for now i'm not going to and you can see look how fast now look how cool this is now you can do any color you can do white you could do the blue you could do a pink you could do an orange look at that look how cool that is Oh, I love it. Okay, so that's that. But this is what I was so surprised over. These look like tiles that you buy at a store like linoleum or vinyl or whatever. These came out. Look at the sheen here. I, I, I can't even explain to you the sheen on these. I mean, look at that. I mean, yeah, that's my light. But I mean, look at that sheen. Look at that. These came out gorgeous. Like, they are so much better than when I put them down yesterday, and I was happy with them. They are like vinyl. So now the question is, am I going to be able to get these apart, which I'm sure I will if I cut them. <laughs> I just want to make sure that these aren't attached in any way. Now, this is only dried overnight, and honestly, I probably shouldn't mess with them for maybe another day or two. I'm sure they take a week or so to cure, but I just don't want to pull these apart and pull the paint off. Okay, let's hope the gods willing and the creek don't rise. That's a song. <laughs> I always say that. I don't know why. Okay, oh please. Because something I didn't think about was whatever it dries on, it's going to stay on. Because remember, when you do this, like for instance, I put the, um, move these out of the way. I put the mermaid on paper to dry, not thinking because it was wet paint at the time and whatever. And I started cleaning up, but I forgot this is going to adhere to whatever you put it on unless you put it on nonstick. So just remember that. Um, and if I can't get these off right now, they'll probably have a backing. <laughs> But it's thick watercolor paint, so, I mean, uh, paper, so we'll see. Oh, come on. These are gorgeous, gorgeous. Next time, I would probably put, like, um, if I didn't put it on here, I would use, like, uh, parchment underneath, wax paper, something. Because you can see here, it's adhered. That ain't coming up right now. Let's see. Oh, what I could do with these if I could get them off. Otherwise, like I said, I can just leave the back on. Maybe I'll do that with the other one. It's hard. It's just certain spots where it dripped. And I think it more dripped on the back of this as I was doing it. Um, so we'll see. Oh, these are so pretty. There we go. Come on, baby. 
I always knew purple was my favorite. Can you come up without hurting anything? Oh, it tears. Look at that. Oh, nope. Oh, shit. Nope, nope. See, I needed to let it dry a little bit more, so don't make the mistake as me, but I had to show you guys. I mean, it went back in normal, but let's just do one at a time and see if you guys can see the gorgeousness. Oh my God. This, if you did a bunch of these, you could put this like behind your uh, stove or like kitchen or like as a decoration. Like this is like plastic. Does that help the... Oh, look at that right there, the sheen. Look at that. Oh, these are gorgeous. The colors dried six million times brighter. And, um, oh gosh, I love it. Okay, I gotta stop because I'll be on here all day. Like, look at this shot side. Look at that side. I'm trying because I want to save this to do more on. Uh, I am a moron. <laughs> more on the paper. Oh, come on, just, just work with mommy here. Yeah. I did cut through that paper, but I don't care because I want it in two parts anyway. And then I just want to show you guys one more thing and then I'll be on my way. I have another video going up in a bit. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Like it's like, it's like vinyl. Like pool vinyl is how I can explain it. That's what it looks like. When you look up close, it looks like pool vinyl. Look at that. Look at those. This is gorgeous. I, and like I said, I picked this up myself. Ain't nobody send it to me. Um, I know I'm a plaid ambassador, but I saw them and I couldn't help myself. I only bought a little bit, but, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, oh, that's still wet. So we ain't doing nothing with that. <laughs> And you can see after a while, it just, you, you know, you have to be watched because it's all going to turn gray. Like I didn't have enough paint on me yesterday. All right. Well, I thought this was dry. The one part is, but obviously it's not all dry. So we ain't doing that today. <laughs> okay. So my opinion on this is it's, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Go out, use a coupon and get yourself. Just one set of the colors. You don't need all the fanciness, the uh, things to make it uh, flower or the tools or anything like that. I would, you know, you need to get cups. Like I said, go get your red solo cups or, or the small plastic cups from the dollar store. Um, but if you have the money, definitely buy the mixing cup like I bought with like the three. I want the five one, but nobody around here has it. Um, where you can mix all the colors. That's what I'm dying for. Um, but yeah, so you can, you know, you can do this very inexpensively. You don't have to. If you guys want me to show you how to do this inexpensively, um, let me know. But I will tell you this. I will do a video inexpensively, but with their paints. Because these paint, the paints that I used here, maybe I'll get another set. I have to see what David says if I have the money this month. Um... And, and we'll try another one like this. I want to see if it acts the same way, the glossy. And I will do one with just regular paint. Now you can get, remember this, you can get paint at the dollar store. Okay, the dollar store. So you don't have to go. And they do sell some folk art at my dollar store. They sm smell. They sell Mod Podge. I mean, they say it sell a lot of things. So you can get, mind you, it's a small bottle, maybe, maybe this big, but you get it for a dollar, what is it, 25 now? And you can't beat it or use your coupons at your stores. Um, if you have, we used to have a AC Moore and Michaels next to each other. And I would use a coupon at AC Moore and then I would go use a coupon at Michaels. <laughs> and that's how I would get like my, um, ex more expensive paint like my golden or Liquitex or something to that effect um, Amsterdam whatever it is um, so you know if you have something in, like that fantastic but they closed my RAC Moors down I think they closed them all down and my Joann's and my Michael's and my other Michael's are like wicked apart and um, sometimes I just don't feel like doing all that you know what I mean but when they're closer together it's no big deal so that's up to you. Do your thing. 
you know, I don't know if these are on Amazon. If so, look down below. I'll put a link there for these as well for those of you who can't um, leave the house. Um, I don't leave the house often, so this was just a trip that I decided to do and just happened to run across these. So you'll probably see more of these in the future and maybe a giveaway. I don't know. So keep your eyes peeled. Leave me comments. You guys are leaving me comments and I love them. I went on today and answered a bunch and um, you guys are just lovely. So anyway, that's all. I'm not going to keep you going on these, but I'm so excited. These are gorgeous and these come out way better than I expected. I'm I'm really, I, I just, I'm going to use this with some cell activator to see if I can get some cells coming up or some Mod Podge. That'll give me cells sometimes. So I can't wait to play. Anyway, thank you for all your love and support. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up. Helps us get into the algorithm. Um, and please subscribe down below and that little bell push it so you can get notified when I upload. Uh, it just helps us get pushed out there. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know about battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys. I will be doing some more requests and some more videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.